This is a review copy of Euclidean. It generally reflects the final state of the game. The following will change before release. Some artwork and sounds. Balance and creature placement and adjustable resolution. Feel free to email these people about stuff. So this is a game. It's supposed to be a... I believe they, put, I believe they called it a geometric horror game of some kind. It's a game coming out about a week from now on Steam. A little, for, a little slightly bit bur uh, blurry on when, because the, the press release I got said 24th. Steam page, last time I checked, says 25th, I believe, but it's coming soon. It's going to be another one of these. Int Ooh, interesting. I can't move. Oh, because we're in a screen. Stage select options. Freaky painting. All right, nice starting area. I believe we're going to want to start with the painting. Can I use the painting? No. How's the options look? Ooh! Whoa, I can look away from the options. You're freaking me out, man. Alright, now that we've made sure the captions are on, I believe we must we must start here. Oh yeah. Oh hey! We have a set number of uh, levels to look through. That expiration, is that how many times I've died? Let's find out. The doorstep. Going in blind like often. Hello, freaky sim. Oh! I'm losing everything around me. Oh! Hello. You can phase through roving creatures with E, escape to do. Oh, yeah. Menu. You are not supposed to be here. Oh, I'm dead. Or am I? Oh, is that the creatures I was supposed to phase through with E? Let's try. I got distracted by the shinies. Beautiful shinies. So what is going on here? Am I falling down towards something? You are not supposed to be here. So that's what E does. Oh, I'm a skeleton. I'm dead. Oh, okay. I've adjusted. So we're falling through open space and there's I'm supposed to stay away from all the rocks on the way down, I assume is what's going on here. Took me a moment to realize what was going on. Alright. I can I can probably do this. It's the, there's like a gate over there. I'm gonna stay away from it though, I assume touching anything's gonna be bad for me. Oh, well, then your advice is worth nothing, then isn't it? Oh god, get away from me. Uh oh, what are those? Bad touch, sir. What is going on? Is this a whole game where you fall, or is that the first level? Oh, excuse me, sir. Alright, we're gonna f okay. Rule of three. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Here it comes again. Is it, is it coming for me again? Or is it going to stay over there? Ah! Just avoided it all together this time without dodging. Uh, I mean, I can predict that. Probably going to die horribly. What am I looking at around here? These pillars. Oh, they have like a f almost like a field around them. What's down here? I go deeper. I want to fall past them, right? I want. Oh. Maybe I want. Beware the deep. Oh, I think I was supposed to land on those bubbles. The more you know. All right, this time around, I'm making my way to that pillar. I assume that's where I'm supposed to land. It looks pretty inviting. And clearly, going all the way down is bad. Oh, yep. Columnar jointing! Oh. Friendly? Friendly? Oh god. Ah, ah, bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. Okay. Cool. Oh, level two. The chasm. Oh, cool. Snake monsters attack. Oh, we're falling again. Okay, so I think this is gonna be a falling game. Like, ah, for the win, I think it's called. There's a few games that are all about falling, although a lot of those are... Some of the previous ones that are about falling are all about uh, the adrenaline rush. 
and a bunch of clearly defined squares you're trying to avoid going really fast. Ooh! Phase out of that. Oh, it looks worse here. I can see way more. So now... Ooh! Does it say, like nature's... Like vultures they fly. So that's what killed me. So now I'm going to be more actively attacked, apparently. I need to avoid these things by phasing out at the right time, or maybe trying to dodge them? Don't know how consistently you can dodge in this game, though. We'll find out. Let's see. It, maybe if I go near boulders, they can't sneak up on me? Maybe they can't clip through that? Oh, but stuff comes out of the boulders to attack you. That thing's re Those things are really unpleasant looking. I don't want them. Oh, boulders break. The, the pillars break, apparently. Alright, well this is going to be a very startling level, I can already tell, because they just show up out of nowhere. It's hard to see. And they're free- Ow. Oh. See, that wasn't very nice. My first reflex would be like, let's hug the walls, because that's probably a way to get away from them, but spike things come out of the walls to attack you, so that's not good. I think my best chance is just to look around a lot and be ready to try to dodge these guys so as they come after me. I got you. Oh, good! So we need to try to be aware of their presences, but also... Uh, okay. Be careful when we use the power, because that's a cooldown. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was going to hit me, for sure. What I'm not sure to do is now, in the after time, one of them's, gonna, one of them's probably going to attack me. Oh, I'm, I think I'm making it further than before. Oh, snakey snake. Don't attack me. Oh ho. The nailed atmosphere. This is terrifying. You successfully created a place I don't like being in. <laughs> I'm trying to hug the walls a little bit because I feel like they, their paths might not cross them so much, but we also... Oh, oh, the snake caught me somewhere. Oh, it was one of those guys, I think. It looks, judging by the diagram, it must be one of the guys coming out of the walls. I must have gotten too close. Ooh, maybe it was that big guy. Could have been the big one last time. All right, we're coming down by the blocks again. Ugh. Ooh, they're everywhere. Oh, hello. There's so many things that are so much bigger than me. It's really unpleasant. Oh, maybe- I think it was one of those things that hurt me last time. Did you come by chance or by design? Are you unlucky or... I mean, both? I got a review code in the mail, and I was like, hey, maybe we'll check this out. It looks like I'm gonna lose my shit a little bit. And it's kinda happening. Oh crap. Oh no, the tower's over there! Wow. This level is actually a little shorter than I expected it to be. I think it was- I think the first one was longer. But I'm not sure. Alright, so la last time I was so focused on falling down without dying. I didn't, die I didn't want to die from falling, I didn't want to get killed by anything, but now I need to focus on, obviously, my goal. Victory somehow doesn't feel that much safer. <laughs> the Awakening. Oh, hello. What's that sound? Oh, it's a worm. Oh, Jesus. coming at me. Okay. It's really unsettling to see something that- what? What? It's really unsettling to see giant things just coming your way. It's a DNA, kind of? I'm sure that's bad for me too. 
Oh god, I can't- I can't- It's freaking me out that I can never look at it directly. Whatever the big thing- Oh, hello. Well, I've seen that one before. There's something else big that I have not gotten a direct look at yet. I just keep seeing how huge it is. But I think I, I may have nailed this one. Hey, first try. Cool. What was the big thing? That's beautiful, by the way. Right there. There's a wallpaper. What is- Whoa. It's like a squid thing? Oh. Alright guys, I think that's a good stopping point for the first episode. Thanks for watching like always. This is Euclidean. You can check it out on Steam. It should be- it's supposed to be launching at four dollars, I believe. Definitely check this out if you, if you like what you're seeing there. What's going on with the moon over there? Oh, is it coming towards me? I don't like that. Don't do that. Why are you coming towards me, moon? Are you staying put? Oh, shit. Uh, what are you doing to me? What? What? Is that how- Whoa! Is that how you- I think I just accidentally started the game where- the game- the way you're supposed to. That's freaky! There's a stage select, which is how I started, but actually you- <laughs> If you look at the moon, it freaks out and consumes you, and that's how the level actually starts. That's why there's the picture in the telescope. I just picked up on this too fast, I guess. This is a really interesting, creative little game. It takes a concept that's already been used in the ah games on Steam as far as basic gameplay controls go, but went a completely different direction with it. Which is something that horror often does. They have to make horror games that are, here's game, gameplay mechanics you understand, but we're gonna do this something really uncomfortable with it. And I'm cool with that. So if you, if you want to support a cool little interesting artistic design, that makes me really uncomfortable because of my issues I have with being underwater and vulnerability related to that. Check this out. It definitely has a... It definitely seems to have those, uh, those Cthulhu-style Lovecraftian horror implications. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a break. Gonna play some Gwent. Maybe eat some ice cream. Have a nice cry. I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably, or the next day. And we'll play more of this game. Thanks for watching like always, and I'll see you next time. And if you want to check out this game, go to the description. There should be a link on how to buy it right there uh, when it comes out. Oh, hey, there's a quit thing. I just noticed that too. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.